I'm creating this path other people haven't really trodden and so I don't really know what I'm doing half the time. So I always think about like what Nana used to say, like you can only do what you think's right at the time, then you, you can't regret it. I think to be honest, I never actually considered that footwear was a thing you could even do. This project all really started when I graduated from the Royal College of Art. I made this collection, which was called Our Public Youth, and it was talking about the footwear industry, how we interact with products, commerciality, and I entered a competition called International Talent Support. They have a few different categories, and one of them is accessories category, so I applied for that. There's also an additional award, which is the Vogue Talent Award, and yeah, I basically won both. It kicked off, people were really interested in what I was making, just felt like it wasn't finished, so got a studio and I'm still doing it. <laughs> when I make a shoe, I start with the recycled components, so I usually take them, clean them enough that they are clean, but not so they lose their character, and then kind of slice everything up into its component parts, really try and keep the pieces as authentic as possible so they have still the stitch lines, I'm not cutting anything away, and then kind of create a lay plan of all the bits grab a last and just start putting it back together, essentially. It's like a puzzle. Right now I'm working on a project with Complex Con and Takeshi Murakami. There's a group of us, basically, and we're creating these sneakers, which are kind of the epitome of like who we are as a designer, but also really influenced and inspired by Takeshi's work. It should be a really crazy, really fun project, and yeah, just some crazy monster shoes. There's such a massive resource of recycled materials that you can use. I just didn't really see the purpose of using like virgin materials. With the recycling centers that I work with, I only collect the odd shoes from them because the pairs, they can either resell or they can send to a third world country. I didn't see the point in taking a pair of shoes when they could be used for something else. So I'm really trying to use like the proper remnants that can't be used anymore, essentially. With recycled products as well, you get such interesting textures. They have like a livelihood to the materials. They have a story behind them. And I think all of that really is encompassed in my work. So it creates like a more authentic product. I think my work is very unusual. I think when it came out in 2016, it was something that nobody had ever seen before. I think sometimes the naivety of my work is what really attracts people to it. And also it's very handcrafted, it's very real, it's very tactile and I think we're in an age now where everything we do now is like on screens. To have something really tactile that you can hold and that you can see that, yeah, somebody really made this like with their own hands, you know, I think that's inspiring for people. I was never like a sneakerhead. It's been really amazing to be surrounded by people that can teach me those things, but also I try and stay a little bit naive to it because I think that with my work, what excites people is that I'll just take you know, an Air Max and just cut it up. And people are like, how can you do that? If I put too much value on the materials, then I won't be able to do it. I'm definitely learning a lot more now and my sneaker collection is growing by the day. <laughs> I'm Helen Kirkham, I'm a footwear designer and artist based in London.